since a Lewis structure shows the distribution of valence electrons in the molecule, we need to know how many valence electrons we need to show before we even start drawing the molecule, the, the structure. Fortunately, it's quite easy to determine the number of valence electrons that need to be shown. For all you have to do is add up the number of valence electrons that each atom in the molecule has if it were alone. And uh, that's easy to do because all you have to do is locate the atom in the periodic table. The group number where the atom belongs in a traditional periodic table corresponds to the number of valence electrons. So, for example, which has the same number of valence electrons as a carbon atom? Well, is it nitrogen or silicon? First, let's look at carbon atom right here. Well, it belongs to group 4A in the traditional periodic table. It's column 14, but in the traditional periodic table, that's also referred to as group 4A. So carbon has four valence electrons. Okay. Now, silicon is in the same column as carbon, so silicon also has four valence electrons. Nitrogen is in group 5A, column 15, so nitrogen will have five valence electrons. Now, for polyatomic ions, the Lewis structure should account for the charge. So how many valence electrons do we need to show in the Lewis structure for sulfate? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so sulfur, okay, right here is column six. So sulfur needs six valence, contributes six valence electrons to the structure. Oxygen also belongs to group six. So each oxygen atom also contributes six valence electrons. Okay, and there's four of them. So six times four, that gives you 24. So an oxygen the oxygen atoms contribute a total of 24 valence electrons that you need to show in the Lewis structure. And finally, the charge is negative 2. So the negative 2 charge means two more electrons that you need to show in your valence, in your Lewis structure. So 6 plus 24 plus 2, that would be a total of 32 electrons. What about ammonium ion? Well, nitrogen, let me hear this uh, right here. Nitrogen for ammonium. Nitrogen belongs to group 5A. So that nitrogen contributes five valence electrons. Hydrogen is group 1A. So each hydrogen contributes one. And there's four of those, so times four. So you have a total contribution of four valence electrons from hydrogen. But if you look at the formula for ammonium ion, there's a positive one charge. So the plus one charge means one electron less. Okay, a plus charge means electrons lost. So out of the nine, so you subtract one, so five plus four minus one, and you'll have eight valence electrons that you need to show in the structure, in the Lewis structure for ammonium ion. Now, a Lewis dot symbol shows the valence electrons as dots around the symbol for an atom. So what would be the Lewis dot symbol for nitrogen? Well, nitrogen belongs to group 5A. So I can draw five dots. The way to do this is just to go around, uh, put four unpaired dots, and then start pairing up after that. So I have one, two, three, four, and in the fifth one, I'll pair up with the first one. It doesn't matter which way, you, which, 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 which order you do this. So you can go one, two, three, four, five. That will work too, okay?